Welcome, everyone, to basically what is the oh. Papers, Please sequel, I guess you could call it. Oh, really? No, you couldn't. <laughs> There's no way you could call it that, but it's created by the same guy. And It looks very similar to the engine that runs Papers, Please. I don't own the game, but I have seen it. I mean, it... No other games look like this. There's just... We're gonna start a new game. We're just continuing the trend of playing games that have no equals. Exactly. Like, Papers, Please turned out really well for our good pal, the Geeky Skunk Gamer. So, this game happens to have, like, an even more boring concept, which is... <laughs> well, okay. This ship came back with no one on it, which is interesting. So there's that. But... Okay. I forget if I have to click this away. I... I don't know. Well, click just for the heck of it. Oh yeah, this is all key-based, so never mind. Oh. No clicking. So what we are is the Chief Inspector for Insurance and Claims of the Honorable East India Company. So... Well, this company likes inspectors. <laughs> and we're in 1807. Yep. Company man woke me up. Company man woke me up. There are actually voice actors. You need oh, I'm sorry. No not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! Ow! Carefully. Oh, what's going on? Which is just, I think, poor planning, but... Yeah. Okay, so... It's, it's a, a Looks like it's a full motion game. Kind of. Instead of pointing click. I still actually have to click, so that was kind of just oh. a lie on the first screen for whatever reason. Alrighty. I mean, it's WASD, though, I assume. Yep. So, that, that's mostly what I meant by full motion. Oh, I gotcha. Let me just take a quick peek. That all makes sense. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. Standard, standard WASD can... It was so weird, because... Oh, there's a dead guy. Oh, yeah, there'll be lots of dead well, guys. Yeah. We're on the ship. This art style is unique. It's, like, all black and white and grainy. Hoi! Hoi! Too heavy! Oh, fine. This guy doesn't think he can... Eat. All, all we need him to do is send us this little box. But no, Mr. Rowey guy thinks that's just too hard of a task. So we have to do it ourselves. Take it yourself or open it here. Oh, Actually, come on. All we really just need open to it do here. is... We have a book. This is an important book. I... I'm assuming that's our journal, maybe? Yes. Yes? Uh, no, it's just a story. But, effectively, it's like, this is, uh, how we do our actual job. So, and also we get to know, well, not really extra plot, but we complete each chapter, we basically write this giant book, and then we send it off to Morocco. Okay. There's also a secret chapter. Oh, sweet. Are we going to have to make the secret chapter? We'll find out. But, yeah, I can just flip through all the pages, or I can skip if I want to. Skipping is fun. But just to give a quick overview, whoops. there is map. Okay, where are we? That's an excellent question. I'd say maybe that line was the path we took, but I think that's just the longitude and longitudes. No, or no, yeah, the, the, this dotted line is definitely the path they took. We're in England. Okay. The ship still ended up in England somehow, coming from, well, somewhere in oh, the I east. Oh, I see it. I thought the black was water, and that that white was just land. No, it's, unfortunately, this ship is not land surfing or anything. I missed the giant Europe and Africa signs. <laughs> Okay, so but, but I yeah. guess we're off the map right now. Oh no, we er, we stopped at like the tip of that place. Okay. Yeah, for, I guess we don't get to know what happened around the 
uh, Cape of Good Hope, Africa. But yeah, they they came around. Glad they... you remember what that place is called, because I sure as heck didn't. Adventuring stuff. This is this yeah. is a map of the actual ship. So. Oh, cool. We are. So we have how many decks are there? Or like levels, I should say. I think we're on main. Gun is underneath. And there's the Orlop. And, and then cargo. the cargo holds at the very bottom, I assume. Yep. Four decks. Cool. It's not too bad. This is I think the... you're going to get lost on the first deck. This is the um, crew list, though. So. Cool. All these people died. Or. We assume so they 60 died. people died? They aren't on the ship. That is all we know. So they died. <laughs> what is this? These... So we know what they look like? Yes, exactly. This is all we get. Okay. Thank you for being so helpful. Uh, it's not like we need 60 profiles or something. And these are all the empty pages that we aren't aware of yet because... We have to fill them out ourselves. Exactly. Cool. So the game is basically filling up this book. Correct. And as far as I know, I haven't found like a... There are very good walkthroughs of this game available. Yeah. I don't think any of them just kind of like flip through the entire book. So when we're done, I definitely want to just have like a story time. You know? I am fine with that. Uh, how does saving work? Automatic. Okay, oh, then uh, before we end the game, we're going to need to read the book. Because I don't know if it'll let you do that after. Good call. We will We'll make sure of it. But yeah. in case, we, we might come back to the glossary too. Just because we're on a ship. I'm not on ships ever, so, yeah. you know. Well, me neither. I was in the sailboat once, and that's about it. And it capsized, so. So anyway, we also have this fun watch that, you know, we'll Why see. does it have a death symbol on it? You'll see. Or a skull, excuse me. So anyway, bye, random rowing guy. Is he gonna follow us, or is he gonna get attacked as soon as we climb this ladder? No, I don't know exactly where this ship has... It must be close enough for sh to shore for someone to row. It's just that I can't see. Shore. Is it that line at the edge of the screen? Maybe. I mean, that's a horizon at least. <laughs> All right. Let's look around. So for the time being, this ship is going to have some weird qualities because we're going to end up finding a lot of dead bodies on this deck, even though we okay. can't see them. But for the time being, let's start with this guy. We just scan our watch it. Oh, are we going back in time to view his death or something? Because we can totally do that. That's unrealistic, actually. Open the door! Kick it in! Ah! Okay, what am I saying? We live in 2018. It's an unrealistic world now. You bastards may take exactly what I give you! There we go. Awesome, we're in the past. So that's how he died. What? <laughs> that's interesting! Thank you. I So it was that dude who shot him. Correct. So things... So, we have a limited amount of time to scout the area. So about the only things we really have to see are... This guy got shot. There were two men trying to open the door. And... There's a dude running away. Yep, extra guy. Cool. How much time does it give you to look at each scene? That's an excellent question that I don't really know the answer to. Because... I'll time it out in editing and put a card up or something. Assuming we're gonna leave this scene eventually. This is basically the door to leave once it's available, but for the first time, the first time you look at a scene, you get... Yeah, it's it's a pretty limited view, but... Okay. Oops. There it goes. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. I feel like that's like a minute, at least. The nice thing is that it puts you back at the scene so that you can examine all you want. It also gives you the, uh, a quick overview of <laughs> where, <laughs> what, what part of the story you actually saw. So what we saw was, of course, the end. The end. I love how we can just instantly draw stuff. It gives you everything you need. You can always replay the transcript. Oh, that's of cool. What they said. And no, you never have to remember where the where the event took place. It'll always mark that. 
this game is incredibly helpful. It'll show you the people involved. Right, because awesome. we saw their faces. So, and we know which one of them died. And about the, unfortunately for right now, the only thing we know is that he was da, 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 shot. Da, da. Correct. There's a lot of options for how he died. And we can, he said captain, so he was shot by the captain. Yeah. We don't know who he is, though. Correct. Yay. Now our job is to, oh, do we have to draw a conclusion later on? Not necessarily. There was a conclusion page in there. I guess we'll find out then. I. We're back in the memory. We are. So if you happen to miss anything, this is the time. But otherwise, you just leave through the conveniently placed door. So, what this gives us is random entry into this room. <laughs> okay. I would have probably started in this room to investigate instead of using my death watch to find out what happened. The weird thing is, though, the death watch is what opened the door. Okay. That's... Thank you, death watch. Exactly. So, you know. Let's death watch th this person. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're right. The bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, there was a struggle and then the... He just took a sword and like sliced his throat. Correct. Now, I, have a I have a question that's kind of unrelated to that, uh, based on what was said in the dialogue. Is there swimming in this game? No. What's gonna happen is that if... Haha. <laughs> see. Hi! <laughs> but if someone has fallen overboard, we're never gonna see. Okay. We, we're not gonna explore the ocean depths. So this was the first guy we saw dead, just so... Yeah. You know, the timeline is accurate. And... The end. The end. That one felt quick. That's the thing. Maybe it just goes away once you've seen everything, but I, I can't tell. I would have to do some research, I think, to figure that out. I'll probably end up researching this game instead of studying for my Spanish final next week. Although that's a lie, because I was actually studying right before you called to say that we can record. There. So, knifed by the captain. Congratulations. That's... He had a really big knife, though. Oh, yeah. Or maybe not. Absolutely. Maybe it's just a view. That seems pretty big. They're pirates. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Are they? <laughs> well, this is what this game is going to tell us. We'll find out, right? Yeah. Well, let's yeah. just assume this is a normal ship with normal... Every, every ship has a bunch of murders. Yep. Maybe it's a murder mystery ship. Or a carnival cruise, since, you know, they all just oh end God. up failing miserably. Have you actually... No, I just know they devolve into chaos. Okay. Okay! Oh, no dialogue this time, just jump right into it. He's just swinging a bat at them. It was... It's pretty quick combat, I mean... Yeah. Oh, so that was the dude that jumped down from earlier, isn't it? That looks like it. So, yeah, he tried to sneak in and... Oh! Ooh! But this door got Hello. opened. You see? There's a dude sleeping in there. That is a woman, or actually. Dead. Oh, okay, it's a woman. And, yeah, we'll find out that maybe sleeping isn't the right term, but... Dead. Oh, crap. He got stabbed. Oh, my. I didn't even see that part. I did not either. So stabbed, and then he hit the guy with his bat. Correct. Or stick. But it was, I think it was the other guy's stick, actually. So... <laughs> I, I can't see where the captain's knife went. That was the uh, gun There's from, a gun on the floor. That was from the last one. Ah, uh, we're out of time. It was, uh, the other guy's gun. 
and it just happened to stay on the floor. But yeah, I don't see... Unless I didn't see the new guy holding the knife, but... We'll have to check once we draw this information in. So, yeah, we can say that he was... Club? By a stick. <laughs> oh, now I have to say who. No, it's... The captain killed all these people, and then... Oh, wait. Okay. What? When? Where did the captain die? I guess we aren't there yet? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll figure it out then, I suppose. Yeah. Well, there's more memories to see. How come the memories are just, just still shots? Um, good question, because that's just how the game works. At least we don't have to do a divina divination seance or whatever. So one, so along with doing, uh, basically stuff of the nature, like, like just looking at the death scenes, the other thing we have to do is identify all these people, obviously, so. Oh, okay. So you're the captain, I guess. Here we are. Basically, the game blurs faces of people that you aren't supposed to know who they are, and then reveals faces of, it's like, you should know who this person is. Okay. If I had to guess, I'd say the captain. Exactly. Because <laughs> he has the hat. And also, we saw yeah. him kill a bunch of people, and a guy called him captain. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough information. This is a lot of information to use. Right. So this game is just basically going through all the events that we've seen, which is... You know, 60 deaths, give or take. <laughs> oh boy, it's going to be a long game. <laughs> and the game reminds you that there is in fact a challenge here, because it doesn't really tell you anything. I mean, all, exactly. All of the information that is like clear is either in conversation or the actual scenes, which... Or, yeah, you're right. It's like, maybe you only know who a person is because you figured out who everyone else is. Yeah. So, process of elimination. But, this one's easy enough. And we know what... It does keep track of the memories that he was in. Oh, that's good. So, he's in three memories. Right. So, you can keep track of, like, who's connected to who. Yes. Very helpful. Oh. I didn't want to bookmark them. Just. Exactly. Anyway. So. Yeah. Captain. Gun. Okay, then. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Uh, I think we. Besides me trying to figure out. Where the. I want to find that knife. I do too. Oh, it's over here. There it is. I went over there. That's where the extra knife is. So cool. I I can't tell if it's the captain's knife that it, it is probably the captain's knife that got knocked out of his hands. But and then the extra guy stabbed the cap. Yeah. Okay then. So that we did three memories already, and now. Oh my gosh. Yep. Now we can get into this room, which gives us two more deaths. Let's do the guy on the floor. Cool. Abigail, your brother, my friend. He's dead. I shot him. Oh no, you're just going to admit to killing him. I'll be with you soon, my love. Okay, two things out of that, for sure. Um, oh, hang on. Please forgive me for everything. That, we're waiting for the suicide part. Okay. But we know a couple things. This is Abigail, and yep. the guy shot over there is her brother. Um, and the captain committed suicide. He blended. Yeah, you can even see the trail of blood coming into the room. You sure can. Yeah, he kind of 
kind of left a trail of dead bodies for this part, so. Yeah. Whoops. As far as I can tell, I mean, we're limited to this part, yep, because that's the whole scene, so. Yeah. Suicide. No. Nope, not struck. Suicide. <laughs> oh, hang on. The game's gonna tell me something. Thanks. Oh, oh wow. That's not very nice. <laughs> that's this is a weird part of the game. It won't tell you if you're correct here. It'll tell you if you're correct once you do three people correctly. And only three people. Okay, that's a weird mechanic. I think it's a way to prevent just, like, right. it, it prevents guessing. Uh oh. That's dumb. I would rather guess and pray. So That's how I do a lot of games, guessing and praying. We need to go to the table of contents because I kinda wanna see the crew list. One, I wanna know who Abigail is. Would she be on here? There she is. She's a passenger from Scotland. And we also know, then, her last name, which should yes. hopefully match somebody else's. Wasn't it for the captain? Or am I just imagining things? No, the Hoskett. This should be her brother. Oh, okay. So, that means I should be able to go back to the end, find the guy who was shot. You and say it's the brother, dude. <clears throat> Alrighty, so now we just need to identify, like, one more person and find the cause of death, and the game will be like, Oh, either you're great or you suck. Exactly. So, well, really quick, uh, can I not open doors when I'm in this mode? Probably not. That's okay. That's dumb. But, yeah, I think the last person we're just going to check, since we know Abigail is the one that's got stuck in the side room. You know, for funsies. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, and the end is complete. Oh, sweet. Four people died at this part. Cool, so that means 56 others died before the end. Yep. Delightful. What the hell is that? What's the sparkle? I can't freaking tell. You can't get to it, can you? Not really. Cool. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Frick, who's Mark? Oh. You know, I'm, I'm gonna need to go soon. But if you want, if you want to keep going, go ahead. And... I want you. I want to show you this very last part. Okay. Oh my gosh! What is this? Oh, the mast fell. Oh, okay. Is there? A, there's a kraken. Correct. So you, you, okay. So you are correct. The mast fell on top of her. Cracked her in the face. <laughs> Fifty people or some crack. Man. So this brings in the fact that there are krakens in this game. Oh no, that's that's half a person. Oh, ye okay. And there's rain over there. What do you do if a kraken attacks your ship? Besides, say, I shouldn't have taken a carnival cruise. 
Um. Clearly not what they did, since, you know, all of them are gone. <laughs> yeah. Well, how about we learn it's the lesson act. from them? Yeah. Moral of the story is don't take carnival cruises and watch out for Krakens. <laughs> so this is the Doom. Right, part seven. We're just kind of jumping all over the book. That is. Or are there only eight parts? How many parts are there? Wait, that's. How is that part. Part eight. Oh, but it's part eight of the Doom, excuse me. So. Uh oh. We know who she is because her name is Abigail, and she. Was killed by a Kraken! She was crushed by. Breaking. Glad you saw that because I missed it. There we go. Oh, great. Those we did correct. three correctly. What's this thing? Is that mark like how we're doing on the deaf watch? Exactly. Oh, well, okay. Oh, so once you come full circle, is that game? Pretty much. Okay. So, so there's a limited amount of stuff you can use the Death Watch for. I guess we'll find out. I mean, there's also like the shaded over part, which might be the bargain. Oh no! Okay. Look at this. Yeah. Ooh, that guy was at the scene. Um, but I mean, just look at all this. Look at all there's these a lot people. Of people. We gotta identify all of them. And we. Wait a minute. Why are we waiting a minute? It says we know this guy. Who the heck is that guy? That's an interesting idea. He was on the main deck. Because oh, I he might have been one of the random people being attacked by the Kraken. He must be Martin. I guess. We'll deal with that later. See you next time. Alrighty, see you then.